Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is the part 2 of our previous video of heart failure. In the previous video we have discussed the topic and some questions. So in this section we will discuss some more questions because I have received um, some uh, comments and uh, requests from the students to discuss more questions. Because we know that the heart failure is very important topic and the questions sometimes we may not have a clear idea when we will read the question how the options are connecting or why how it is connected with the heart failure. So in this uh, video we will add uh, two or three questions and we will see how the options are connected with a particular scenario. So shall we start? A client with chronic heart failure calls the clinic to report a weight gain of 3 pound over the last two days which information is most important for the nurse to ask this client i will revert the question a client with chronic heart failure okay this client is already diagnosed with chronic heart failure and now she he he or she is in the home so when he is in the home he just called to the clinic and he report that i have a weight gain of three pound over the last two days so when the nurse she will listen this information what is the most important thing that she should ask to get more inf more problem or more idea about cur client current situation so that is the question asked we know that we studied that if the client have a weight gain of 3 pound or more than 3 pound for 2 days or 3 to 5 pounds for a week should inform to the healthcare provider or should inform to the clinic because that is showing there will be a fluid retention in the body so if the client will inform that one the nurse should ask some more questions to identify whether how the client situation is right now the first option diet record for this current week option two fluid intake for the past two days option three medications and dosages taken over the past two days option four presence of shortness of breath coughing and edema so what do you think which could be the right question or which could be the right information the nurse she when she will receive she will think that okay there is some problem I should uh, make an immediate assessment or immediate uh, appointment to uh, get the client come back to the clinic here we'll see the diet record for this current week okay that is a good thing definitely the nurse should ask whether the client is taking a low sodium diet or he, does that he is having a high cholesterol diet all those things she should ask but I don't think that is the priority or the most important thing that the nurse should ask to understand the uh, seriousness of the present situation then the fluid intake for the past two days okay that is also important because we told that the intake and output should be monitor and there should be a restricted fluid then that one just we will keep it because those all things we need it but that is not the priority one that uh, we should assess in this case then the three, third one is medications and dosages taken over the past two days that is also a very good thing because we said that the client should have a very good medication complaints if he is not taking the medication properly there is a chances of exacerbation of the symptoms We'll see that other option also. Maybe um, some options would be more prior than the other one. The presence of shortness of breath, coughing or edema. Okay, this is our answer. Why this is our answer? Because the client already said, I have a weight gain of 3 pound. And he said, when we will see or when we will ask more questions, he said that, nurse, I have the shortness of breath. I have coughing. I have edema which means the shortness of breath means the client could not able to meet the metabolic needs of the body or he could not able to sleep properly or the symptoms are really worse getting worse so what will be the thing the nurse should inform the client who should come back to the clinic as fast as possible for further assessment for the evaluation 
So, our most important question that our nurse asked this client to get more information or to get the scenario, the present situation of the client is that the fourth option. So, maybe some of you have a not clear idea. One pound is uh, like one kg is 2.2. Pound. That's why 3 pound is 1.36 kg. Just keep it in your mind because sometimes during the calculation, especially the questions, they will give all the uh, weight in the pound. We have to convert it to kilogram. So 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So our answer is option 4. So our next question. A home health nurse is visiting a client with a chronic heart failure. The nurse observes that the client is having trouble answering questions due to breathlessness and cough. Which action should the nurse take first? So the home health nurse, okay, the client now he is in the home. He, when the nurse came, because the client is already uh, a case of diagnosed with a chronic heart failure. When the nurse came to the uh, home, she observes that the client he is not able to uh, speak properly he is not able to give the answer because he have a, a severe breathlessness and cough which action should the neck first so in this scenario or in this situation what is the first thing that the nurse should take that is the question we'll see first one is auscultate the breath sounds second one check for peripheral edema third one measure the client's vital signs fourth one Review the client's weight log over the past four days. So, here you can see the first option is auscultate the breath sound. I will tell that is our answer. Why? Because already client have the breathlessness. So, when we are uh, taking the Maslow's hierarchies of law, we know that. Or when we are uh, taking the the ABC airway breathing circulation is the first thing we will move to the airway so here this client is presented with severe breathlessness and cough so first thing I have to do an assessment I have to check the breathing sound or breathing pattern breathing okay does that the how the client situation so the nurse sh should start assessment based on the ABC airway breathing circulation which include auscultation of the breath sounds and the measurement of the respiratory rate and oxygen saturation. So that is the priority based assessment. So in this scenario the client is risk for acute decompensated heart failure and pulmonary edema. We know that uh, the some of the symptoms related to pulmonary edema. So and the acute decompensated heart failure we know this is an exacerbation of the symptoms that's why the client could not able to talk because of the breathlessness and the pulmonary edema is an acute life-threatening situation in which the lung alveoli become filled with serosanguineous fluid auscultation may include so while we are auscultating we will get an idea whether the client have crackles or wheezes and wrong eye if the fluid has moved into the lungs so if we found such symptoms during the auscultation, we know that, okay, this is a life-threatening critical situation. The client need emergency evaluation and management. So that is the, that's why our answer is option one. That is the priority or the first thing the nurse should carry it out. We'll see why other options will not be the correct first one. Check for peripheral edema. We know that the peripheral edema is also a sign and symptom of heart failure. But when compared to the breath sounds or compared to the assessment of a breath sound, the peripheral edema is not the priority one. Then the another option is measurement the client vital signs. We already said that first we will assess the breath sounds and we will move to the vital signs. Okay, this is this vital signs we should we, the nurse can do as a second one. So she will get the respiratory rate and she will get the oxygen saturation. So in that when we are comparing with the vital signs also the breath sounds auscultation of the breath sounds would be the priority one then the another option that review the clients weight log over the past days okay because when we will check the clients weight we will get an idea okay whether there is any weight gain because if the weight gain that also indicate that 
there is a exacerbation of the symptoms but the first thing that client can do or the nurse can do in this situation is that assess the blood sums then she can follow with the vital signs she can follow what the diet the client has taken whether the client is compliant with the medication and how the weight gain for the past one week everything she can do but the priority see this is the thing what i should mention before always we should look for the keywords in the question definitely there will be one or two keywords in the question in this key question there is a keyword that what is the action should take first we know that out of this all four options are correct answer but out of this one the one option would be the first one that the nurse should do to get the clear idea and based on that she can take an immediate evaluation management and intervention everything so does that clear shall we move to the next question the home care nurse visits the house of an elderly client which assessment finding requires immediate intervention which means i will just revert the question the home care nurse she is visiting all the elderly clients and while she is assessing this particular client she found something unusual or an unexpected finding based on the uh, previous visit or based on the current situation of the client so when she will see that particular sign or symptom she know that uh, this is a problem or this client might have some serious issue so that she should inform and the client need an immediate intervention so out of this option one option would be a serious problem that she was so when she is doing the assessment on this particular client that would be our answer so we will see the options one by one the first option is the client cannot remember what was done yesterday option 2 the client has a painful red area on the buttocks option 3 if the client has new dependent edema of the feet option 4 if the client has strong foul smelling urine so what do you think which could be the uh, very serious or very uh, uh, difficult as a problem that need an immediate uh, intervention what do you think the option 1 says the client cannot remember what was done yesterday uh, okay the question already they mentioned that it is an elderly client so it's a slight um, like forgetfulness or a kind of like uh, a difficulty to remember the previous things that is common a usual thing especially in the elderly client here you can see the loss of short term memory could be an early sign of dementia it is important to assess client's mental status to ensure safely in their homes further investing interventions is required but this condition is not a life threatening see here what we should keep in our mind there should be a symptom that could be that might be a life threatening uh, that might be a sign of life threatening situation so this uh, forgetfulness or a uh, short term memory loss uh, that is not a, a life threatening situation so we'll see what is the another option the client has a painful area on the buttocks so what do you think especially the elderly client they may not be that much uh, uh, able to move frequently they might be bedridden so there is a chances of pressure injury so the area also here they mention buttocks so the sacrum is the main area that is uh, more prone to get pressure injuries so that one not a life threatening situation so we will just keep it we'll see the another option the client has a new dependent edema of the feet okay what do you feel when you read this particular option what do you feel what is coming to your mind we studied that dependent edema is a sign of what a right heart failure and this client is an elderly client we know that the heart failure it's common in elderly clients because they might have some other conditions they might be known case of hypertension they might be known case of excuse me known case of um, diabetes and all those things will finally eventually leads to heart failure and everything 
So when we will see a new dependent edema, we should be very suspicious. It might be an early sign or our client has some other issues. That's why this uh, symptom is showing. This should be notified very carefully. So we will just keep it. We'll see the another option also. The client has strong foul smelling urine. So uh, the strong foul smelling urine in an elderly client, what could be the sign, a symptom or what could be the uh, thought coming to your mind? The strong foul smelling urine is likely due to urinary tract infection. Does that end life threatening situation urinary tract infection? No, this does require treatment to prevent further complications, but is not a priority over suspected heart failure. We said that the option C, when we will read that option or when we will see that particular assessment or symptom on client, we might suspect might be it's a case of heart failure. Might be the client is uh, showing such symptom as a uh, uh, diagnosis maybe the client might be diagnosed with the heart failure because uh, the, he has some other problems so when we will see that dependent we will do other assessment we will see the blood sounds and uh, we will see the we will check the client's weight and the client overall body assessment everything we will do because we suspect that it's a problem of heart failure so out of these four options these four options need an assessment need for the notification everything but the new dependent edema with the immediate or the life-threatening complication or the one need an immediate intervention i hope it is clear to you i'm not discussing much because we have already discussed all the points related to heart failure and we have discussed some more questions previously uh, related to the same topic so now you have an idea so these are the questions uh, that we have discussed in the session and uh, the this uh, this is like a two part and uh, in the entire two part we have discussed around five questions and we discuss all the main areas related to the heart failure i hope it is clear to everybody i just wanted to uh, inform you that if the only this topic they will ask from various areas or the same topic or the same heart failure problem they will present with a different situation we should have a proper idea how to analyze the question and how to apply the knowledge of what we have see in the question in this question they didn't see anything about heart failure so if you don't have an idea if we are not that much proactive or critically thinking nurse we should not feel okay all the problem are problematic okay client forget something client you have heart smelling urine but we should know which is more problematic or which require an immediate intervention so our thinking and our way of analyzing our way of applying knowledge is very important to pass any kind of nursing exam especially in class r it requires your 100 percentage knowledge and it requires your 100 percentage talent to apply the knowledge what you have analyze the content what they gave i hope it's clear and wish you all the best for everyone we will come with another topic on the next video bye bye